What's up guys i have a quick disclaimer before we jump into today's video it's going to be for guys that are trying to grow their business it's this new community of contractors that chase grant created a young other entrepreneur on youtube his name is chase grant and on instagram he created a club called the growth roof club and it's for people that are trying to get their questions answered and learn how they can grow their business to get to another level hence why it's called the growth roof club if you guys are interested in that go ahead and click the link down in the description and you'll be able to join for a completely free no cost and uh, you're probably going to get some good um, stuff out of this. So I definitely suggest you go ahead and join that. It's free. So can't get better than that. Let's get it. Well, guys, welcome back to a video with your guy, Deion Davis, the owner of Global Landscapers. In today's video, we're going to be doing some brush cutting, taking down some trees, and doing a pretty good extensive yard cleanup in a way with a skid and a brush cutter. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right now, I'm loading up. It's the day before the job. Well, I hope it's going to be tomorrow because it's supposed to rain, but we'll see. But I'm getting the skid ready. And uh, I'm about to load them up and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get some drone footage this time so, so you guys can see we're working with the sum and, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. So I hope you guys can enjoy this type of content. We're back out on the job site this week for this video. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more job site videos or more information videos about how to grow in this business. Leave it down in the comment section. Let's get it. This is where I'm at currently. I didn't strap anything down yet, but I want to uh, strap it down and take it for a little test run on this road back here. Kind of test the water. But a lot less squat. Still need the scare bags. Um, but uh, this is what I'm looking at right now. Looks pretty good though. Might paint the brush cutter orange. That's what I'm thinking, at least. But yeah, this is what I'm looking at. I gotta put the one ramp away, obviously. And then we can test it out. What's up guys, it's a rainy Friday morning. It's uh, 5.55 a.m. Driving over to do this one job. Uh, it's not pleasant, but hey, I got my rain jacket on, got my skid on the back, we're gonna get some money, man. Rain or shine, we're gonna grind, baby. So that's what we're doing today on this Friday, this Friday morning. All right, I'm over here at the job. Got my new gloves out, got my hat out, got my safety gear on. Uh, I think it's just this brush over here. Right behind me. Then we got some stuff over here we got hit. All looks like simple stuff. Some palm metals in there. I'm not going to be able to get those, but. So this is what we're working with. Looks like grass right here. You can cut that with a lawnmower. Over here is a little bit taller. All along down there. Easy work. I don't know if we're hitting this out here, but if we do, no big deal. And, uh, yeah. That's what we're working with. Maybe cleaning up some of that stuff over there. I don't know. I got to see when Devin gets back here. He's coming back right now. But my shit about is just sitting in the truck until, you know, it's time for me to start working because there's no point to get rained on for no reason because I don't know exactly where I got a brush cut at. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you a little synopsis before everything. Nothing crazy. I mean, I'm not hitting those palm metals. It's impossible. I'm not hitting that with my brush cutter because it's going to tear it up. I mean, if you know how to run the machines, you know you can't be hitting no brush cutter with no palm metal. I mean, if you're in Florida, of course. I mean, not everybody knows about them palm metals, but yeah.
Alright guys, so here's an example of one of the trees we had to take down right here. As you can see, super dry around it. It was a little bit scary to take it down, but we got them all down. There's three of them just like this. They were all dead at the top, just like right here. And uh, yeah, we got them cut down. Looks pretty cool. Alright, we took down that tree over there. Just cutting all this brush up. Drone died. GoPro died. All I got left is my phone. That's why I use my phone so much because those batteries die so easily. We got this tree down. We got to take down this tree right here. I got to cut some more brush around that. And uh, he's loading up the dump trailer. He went for the skid. Good job. Yeah. That's where we at. I cut all the brush going up that way. So a bunch of brush against the fence line and just do these little tree pockets. And there's some brush going back that way. I cut. I don't know how much the drone, I mean, how much the GoPro got, so we'll see, I guess. So, Devin over there in that machine. I just cleaned up that tree over there. Got the skid right here. I got Devin's bucket on there. It's not my bucket. I loaded up some of this wood or a cut down tree. Devin's brother's over there cutting up a tree. And uh, we're getting it done. The grapple bucket on that one. I need me a grapple bucket like that. today man this guy is a beautiful piece of property all that land in the front and he has his lake view to his back beautiful man it's so beautiful hands for nothing more while working man just wrapping up here well at least i'm about to get out of here soon the job won't be finished but i'm, I'm a subcontractor on this job so i mean technically i did do what i was supposed to come here and do my job was particularly to come with a brush cutter and brush but i was willing to stay and help you know, just for the fun of it. I like running my skid and I'm already getting paid. So that was my thought process at least. And uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'll show y'all like the final product once I leave or where it's left out. Cause they're gonna be back here tomorrow. I got some other jobs to knock out tomorrow. So I can't come back, but I did as much as I possibly could while I was here. So. Yeah. What's up guys, it's the next day. Um, I got a little bonus job, so I'm going out to do it. Another subcontract. I don't know why I said that like that, subcontract. And I'm going out there, it's only in Orlando, so I'm driving over there right now. And uh, all it is is moving dirt from the front yard to the backyard with my skid. Can't ask for a job any easier than that, so I'm gonna go knock it out. I'm 59 minutes away because I'm on way out and kiss me. And um, yeah, so stay tuned with me. And uh, let's get it, man, let's get it. All right, so this is the job right here. I'm about to move all this dirt. I'm renegotiating with the customer to get more money out of it, but we're looking, this is like 40 tons. So I gotta move it straight back there, which is not crazy far. It's easy to scoop it up with a bucket, and put it to the back, but this is huge. Let me show you guys the full scoop of it all. So I'm gonna knock this out, move it to the back. And yeah, I got the skid right there. I gotta take the brush cutter off. Let's get everything done. Uh, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Woo. All right, it is what it is. Let's get it.
All right, guys. So this is where we're at right now. Um, customer, his name is Marvin. Marvin. He's really cool. He gave me some food, but I'm putting a bunch of sand over there, so because I can't get on the other side of this cement because this kid's not good. We don't want to break that because he's trying to revive his pool. So he's gonna what he's gonna do is gonna do this by hand. Just put it over here. So I'm trying to put as much uh, sand as I can over on this side so it can easily get to it. But uh. I raised everything up, which is nice. And uh, here's a little retainer wall there, kind of container all the same, which is good. And I still grade everything out once I'm done. And then cleaned up this pathway, going this way. But there's like not much sand left, which is kind of good because we don't need any much more. We only need a little bit, if that. Yeah. We got all that. So we have enough sand. A little bit too much, but better to have more than less. I'm gonna get back to work. So that pile is completely gone. It's a little sandy, but hey, I can only do what I can do. Let me show you back here so y'all can see real quick before my phone dies again. That's what happened. So I didn't hit that, which is great. It's a little sandy right here, but I couldn't get all that up. It's impossible. But I pretty much raised up the level of the whole backyard all together. I left some sand over there because he needs to put more on the other side where I can't get to, like I was previously saying. And uh, job completed. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We do an outro later. I'm tired and I gotta do a pretty decent drive back to the crib. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys before my phone died and before I bounced out. Oh gosh, it's looking pretty good. I mean, if you remember what it looked like before versus now, it's completely different. I didn't know what his idea was, but now I can see it and it looked good. But yeah, I moved about 40 tons, maybe even 50. It might have been more than 40. I don't even know. It's a bunch of sand. But yeah. It's all gone now. That huge pile was right here. Got it all cleaned up. Well, for the most part. But yeah. Subcontractor, man. Subcontractor. Get into it if you're trying to get more jobs. All right, guys. That's pretty much going to wrap up the video. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day. I'm just relaxing, of course, me and my wife. But uh, that's going to be it. I mean, don't forget to like, subscribe. Show you guys some love. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what you guys think about subcontracting because I think it's a brilliant thing. You pretty much don't have to worry about dealing with the customer. You show up, do work, make sure you gas up your, your, your machine and your truck and everything. And that's pretty much all you got to pay for when you're subcontracting. And it's all profit practically. So that's where, my, where I'm at with subcontracting. And I would definitely recommend other people do it if you're trying to get more jobs and uh, grow your business a little bit more and get some more revenue flowing in. But um, yeah, but uh, don't forget to read your Bible. Uh, repent your sins, turn your life to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And, uh, you know, there's my wife in the back. And like and subscribe, guys. Catch y'all in the next video, man.